Hi everyone, my name is Foxina, and today I'm going through one of my older sketchbooks. This one I've had for about two years now, and I think so. I'm not sure. This has a lot of art in it. It has FNAF stuff, I think it has some Undertale stuff, it has some original characters, it has some Benny and Ink Machine stuff, um, and it just has a bunch of faces all over it. And sorry for the background noise, it's my desk fan, it's really, really crappy. And that's the sound of it begging me to turn it off because I've been using it 24-7, but I'm not turning it off because it's really hot up here. So anyway, let's just hop straight in. This is the back side. I think this is the front side. There's a bunch of Sharpie on it that you can't see. Okay, yeah, this is the front side, but it's upside down. This is the drawing of Foxy. Um, my mom originally got me this book, this, um, sketchbook because I was going on a field trip and I had nothing to do on the ride because we weren't allowed to bring our tablets or anything. So I just got this, and my friend was sitting there on the bus with me, and, um, we drew it together. But yeah, um, most of these are done with Prismacolors. This is a drawing I did, um... This was my friend's drawing, and this was my drawing. This is in my old style, and it's really crappy. Um. But, yeah. It's just, um. We had, like, a story for this drawing. It was, like, the test subjects or something. And as you can see, she drew hers up higher, and I drew mine on the touch shape, like, using the line as the floor. Okay. Oh, done. Okay, um, and these are sketches, some of which are also my friend, my friends. Um, this is mine. She's an alien. And this is Foxy. And this is an eye. This is her little doodle bunny. And these are all Chloe's art. Er, my friend's art. And, um, they're all amazing. And I kind of draw somewhat like this now, but not really. Like, I kind of draw for similar, but not that much. She's really good at drawing fur. Um, um, okay. This is one of my friend's characters. Her name is Candy, I think. Um, she's really cute. And, um, so my friend drew my OC in her style, and this is what it looked like. And as you can see, it's really detailed, um, and stuff. I colored it, though, because, um, when she drew it, I, I, I think I colored it. No, she colored it. Yeah, she colored it. Um, I think. I don't remember. Um, and then I drew her OC in my style. And as you can see, I did not do it justice whatsoever. Um, there's another uh, FNAF one. It says, The Show Must Go On. I saw um, Mando Pony's song, The Show Must Go On, and I just replaced the Night Guard with my OC because I'm self-centered, apparently. Um, I'm, I'm not. This is a teddy bear I drew. This is one of the ones that I, during this time of my drawing, I thought was really, really good. Um, I'm not sure. I need to hurry this up because I only have 19 minutes of recording time and there's a lot in here. So, okay. Um, this is, um, Fun Time Foxy. It says, a new replacement. And back then my signature looked like this. Um, yeah. My favorite part about this is her eyes. And, um, halfway through I ran out of gray so I had to use black for the shading here and it became out really dark. Yeah. And this is why you don't draw the sharpie on the back side of a drawing. Um, I saw people complaining about, um, I don't remember this guy's name, it's, um, one of the Lion King characters from a Disney Junior show or something. I redrew him, trying to be as similar to the original art style of symbol as I could, and I drew, redrew him more detailed. And, um, this is a Gravity Falls one. I gave Bill Cipher a girlfriend because he seemed lonely. And Bill Cipher is my favorite. And he's awesome. And then, um, 
there's a wolf that I never finished because I decided that the design was bad and my art style changed and I didn't want to finish it. This is Temmie's. Look at the dog residues! That's not, that's not. Mm, Tem always wants the dog residues. It's cute. Um, here's another, this is my sister's. This is what my sister's drawing looks like. I drew Sharpie on the other side so you can't really see it. This sketchbook is falling apart. My dog chewed on the end. So, that's wonderful. But, um, this is another drawing that I never finished. It was just a sketch. And it has my old OC design too, so it's crap. Um, flip it around. Um, this is a character I made. She's supposed to represent Mother Nature. She's got blue for water, green for, like, earth, red for lava, and then she has, like, here, and her eyes, it's, like, gray for wind. Six minutes in, we're not even, like, halfway through. This is Alpha. She says, I'm not a d dinosaur. And I actually found out her design isn't a dinosaur. It's actually based off of a reptile called Pangolian, and if you look it up, um, you see why, because the pose that Alphys is in the entire game is literally the exact same as a baby Pangolian. I think that's how you pronounce her name, I'm not sure. This is like a drawing that I made, which is like, you know how sometimes in like, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I saw this one movie where it was like an opera, they had an opera scene, and they had just like really over the top clothing kind of like this, so I wanted to draw one. This is a Minecraft one. I like Minecraft a lot. And I still kind of do. I like the game, but I don't really draw stuff from it. Um, mostly because it's really hard to draw squares. Well, I mean, at least blocky things. And he's stupid. This is a uh, Flowey. I don't want to acknowledge this, so we ain't gonna. This is a uh, Bendy and Nick Machine 1. Is Boris? <laughs> um. As you can see, I didn't stay true to the thing at all. There's the room is completely dark, and I don't know why I forgot to add in the background. Probably because I suck at drawing backgrounds. But uh, yeah, um, this is a blank page because it seeped through. This is another reason why you don't. It's not focusing. Um, focus. There we go. I think it's focused now. Yeah. So this is another reason why you don't draw the Sharpie on the same side as you did with, um, drawings. I forgot that I had this on here and I drew Boris on the other side. It was supposed to be a fan art for a Ben and Ink Machine comic by Haley Senpai, um, well, comic dub, and, um, comic dub series. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was fan art for that. So here's Boris with color. I did this with Sharpies, so that's why you can't really see his face, because his face is brown. And here is some um, fan art of a uh, YouTuber Tony Crow Knight's FNAF comic series. Well, not really a comic, but animation series. But, uh... This is a Foxy that I never finished. Because I messed up here. And I messed up with the eyes. And the fur and stuff. Focus? Is it, I think it's out of focus. There we go. Much better. So then here we have one of Lockjaw. It's also unfinished. And I always see Lockjaw is like um, um, an anti version of my character that I made up. Basically, she's the evil. Um, but yeah, this is also my old design. I had a whole like thing figured out in my head where they battle. Um, yeah. Here's another FNAF drawing that I never finished. It's supposed to be like the puppet and the puppet's mom and Golden Freddy controlling the strings. Now I know, but now we know the story. This was drawn before, like, this was before Sister Location. I made this before Sister Location came out. Um, so that gives you an idea as to how long it's this, how old the sketchbook is. Um, so, here we have a city, me trying to draw what Earth would look like if it had rings, but with cities that are twice the size of the continent, so, yeah, no. And here's a, um, drawing, um, the Sharpie on the other side, so, uh, yeah. There's this one YouTuber named Poppy. She has a song where it goes like, 
If money can buy happiness, then why is it so fabulous? And I really liked it. It was so catchy, so I drew this. It's like the emoji where um, um, it's a dollar with the wings. Like money, buy money. <laughs> Money's literally flying out of your pocket. This is a um, wolf that I made. Her name is Cosmic. I never finished it because I did it with Prismacolors and my black Prismacolor ran out. Um, it's over here. See, my Prismacolors, Prismacolor Premiere, I ran, the black ran out. This isn't even the black, the yellow, the white that came with it. My art teacher had some and she just let me keep it. See, I've run completely out of black. It's like, this is green. I think I'm gonna do more stuff like this where it's just like drawing. The way I have this set up, I don't have a tripod or a camera. It's literally just strings tacked to my ceiling holding my tablet up. Wrong way. So then this is a Sans from Undertale. Um, as you can see, his eyes are very disproportionate. But I was pretty proud of this when I did it because it was the fir one of the first Undertale things that I actually did. And, um,. To me, I just really liked it because I got the proportions mostly correct, and um, it was the first time that I've ever drawn hands correctly, because I'm terrible at drawing hands, and my old quote-unquote style just consisted of not drawing hands. Like, they're just, they're just nubs. They're just nubs. They're little nubblies. <laughs> so, um... Um, this is another thing that I had, um, an idea for, um, it's not exact anymore, I changed it a bit, but, um, it's old now. And the designs are completely different, too. So this is, um, Bay from the game called Night in the Woods, and she has a line in it where it says, it's not murder if it's just animals. It says the talking crocodile. And I was really proud of this because I think I mimicked the style pretty well. Um, the only thing that I kind of messed up was um, her colors. They're not exact, but they're pretty similar. Um, here's an origi original character that I came up with. He's a bunny. His name is Bucky. He, um, his favorite color is red. His hobbits are climbing. His hobbies. Hobbits? He's a hobbit, guys. <laughs> that would explain why he's so small. Um... His hobbies is in climbing trees, video games, favorite foods, pizza. It's a, the description says, He's a young rabbit boy named Bucky. He has many friends and loves playing outdoors. He is also very skilled at many different types of video games. As you can see, I was not the most original person in the world, and I did not like this anymore. And when I made it, I was like, hmm, maybe I could put this up for an adopt on, like, um, DeviantArt or something when I get one. I was like, no, it's shit. It's crap. It's shiz. So this one, I drew my OC, but as a cat, and this one, I was really proud of it because, like, um, um, the fur. This, I had a very big problem with making arms so, like, twig thin, and it looked so ugly. Like, you will not believe what my old digital arts look like. I mean, you probably do, because most of them are up on this channel now, in my speed paints and stuff. Um, so here's another one, um, I was going to make a Ben, like, Benny and the Ink Machine character, but it ended up just looking like Alice Angel. Her na her name was gonna be Bendina, but I was like, okay, no, that's just crap. Her name is Deva. Not Diva, Deva. And it, her, um, description says, Do not mess with this devilish drama queen. She hates being compared to Alice and can't stand Boris, so unless you want your face to be mauled off, steer clear of her. And, um, another part part two of her bio, I guess. It's a continuing series, really. An alternate female version of Bendy. She is not Alice. She is very sassy, and unlike Bendy, she does not like Boris very much, but has a crush on Bendy secretly. I don't know where I was going with this. It's absolute crap. And she has this really low-cut dress, and I don't know why. Oh, this is my favorite one right here. This is a Gravity Falls drawing. It's, um the bipper thing, but like from um, this, the episode Sock Opera, and it is my most, to this day, it's still one of my favorite drawings, because I, 
I'm just, I just like it so much. It was very hard doing the fire and mimicking the art style of Alex Hirsch. Well, not, not really Alex Hirsch, but his show. It was very hard for me to do it, especially with the eyes or the the hands. And um, now I can draw it easily. Like, this is a small sketchbook I have. Um, let me find it. I have drawings of Dipper in here. It's like comparing my style to um, Alex's style, I guess. Hold on a second, guys. This is taking forever. Okay, here it is. It's Dipper. One in my style, one in the actual style, and one shitty. Um, yeah. I did this without a reference. Well, I mean, I did it with a reference, but for most of the drawing, I wasn't looking at it. I did these without a reference. I did this one with a reference. Um, so anyway, moving on. This is one that I did, um, of my character and Foxy, um, from Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, for the stupidest amount of time, I drew my characters so frickin' shibby that they didn't even look like people. What I wanted to do was make them look like they could actually exist while still making them look cartoony and cute. So I, for a while, I actually shit myself with Foxy. <laughs> Don't- I, I know it's cringy, but some people shit themselves with, with frickin' um, Shadow. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic or whatever. It's uh, more blank paper because I didn't know it was there. There's another drawing of me as a cat. Here's a Jack Septicai fan art piece. I actually submitted this one for um, the Septic Art Challenge on um, Instagram. It says MLG 360 No Scope. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing! And um, Sam is wearing an Obey hat, and he ha and Jack has the um, swag glasses. <laughs> it was really hard doing these. Here's another Jacksepticeye one. It's like Auntie and Jack. Um, I was really proud of this one when I made it because I'm, I suck at drawing people. I had to resort to the anime style of just like drawing noses as if they weren't a snout. I don't... I hate drawing people. That's why I've resorted to being a furry and just drawing animals all the time. Because I hate drawing people. Unless it's Jacksepticeye. <laughs> um, this is a graphite art of my character in the chibi form. And I don't like it. And here's another graphite art. It was like a thing where it's like this person had like old drawings of like things from his childhood that he just drew again. Um, and this one um, is one of those things that I struggle with a lot. Trying to recreate something and not being able to do it and getting so frustrated to the point where I just give up. And the point of this was to, like, never give up. And here at the bottom he has, like, drawings that he scribbled over. It's like, no, I can't do it. And it's like, um, you should always keep going. It's basically like this. This is gonna become a, like, montage or, like, like a... Jeez. I don't even know. Anyway. This is my care. Oh, no. This is my character with outlines. She says, I haven't slept in over three weeks. What is sleep? Um, and at this point, it was actually true. Um, oh no. Don't leave your sketchbooks lying around on the floor. This is another drawing I did that's supposed to be like a dragon for a while. I was watching this YouTuber. He did How to Train a Dragon theories and he, and, or videos. And, um... He had this thing where he, like, praised his cat or something. And, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end it here because I'm running out of space to record. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I think I'll make a part two going through the rest of this. Well, um, that is if this one... Actually, no, I'll do it regardless. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, don't forget to go down in the description and check out some of my social medias. Um, anyway, this is Foxina signing out for today. Peace.